Hi, gang. Hiccup here. Now, you know I'm all about gadgets and inventions, but I actually can't take the credit for this latest innovation. Some artists and engineers got together and created this amazing new technology called Apollo. Suddenly, the impossible became possible, and now our animators can follow their dreams wherever their creativity takes them. With the old software, it was quite tedious and, and labor-intensive to get the right action that you want. The focus was on spreadsheets and lists with names of controls. So in order to work efficiently on a hiccup, I have to turn all these other characters off and turn them down quite a bit. In our previous software, artists would have to work on one character at a time. And then an artist would have an idea, but then they'd have to go into a spreadsheet and type in numbers before they could see it. Let's try 25. And as you can see, it's recalculating the movie. And that could take anywhere from 15 seconds to 20 minutes. Each one of those waiting times interfered with our artist's creative process. This was not only industry standard, this was cutting edge for its time. It's how we all made animated movies. But our engineers knew there was a better way, so we worked tirelessly with them to develop Apollo. Our animators gathered and they brainstormed about every feature they'd ever wanted in their tool set. What we would like as animators is sort of a combination of all the different animation techniques that are out there. The intuitiveness and the immediacy of like hand-drawn animation on paper, or the tangible aspect of stop motion where you can touch the characters and move elements around and get the feedback immediately. But the advantage of the computer where you can edit infinitely. That was the goal with uh, the design of the software, is bring all these different techniques into one and be able to intuitively manipulate the characters and see what the result this immediately. Apollo is an entirely new way to think about CG animation. Now it's actually putting the pencil back in the animator's hand. I can just click on things, can move things around the way I want to, and then I can even go to a more granular version as well that allow me to make to just the perfect eye shape. What Apollo does is it allows the artist the ability to tweak and finesse performance or the look, the lighting of a shot without having to wait. They're able to control and manipulate everything in a real-time way, and they get to see as many characters as they need to see within the shot. It doesn't get bogged down the more characters you add. The complexity is handled with a lot of grace and ease. Everything is so immediate to just place things the way I want, and I can jump from one character to the other as well. Being able to manipulate the characters in their costumes and in their environments takes the guesswork out of the equation. It's fun to be in this software, and I'm not limited by technology. I'm limited by my own imagination. The Apollo technology has given us the ability to not only go extremely subtle with the character performances, but also to populate the world in this epic scope that allows us to accomplish a look that has never been attempted before in animation. One example with the character performance is when Stoic first sees Valka after 20 years, and it's as though he's seeing a ghost, and he kind of approaches in this stunned silence. And when he comes up to her and he simply reaches out for her face and says, You're as beautiful as a day I lost you. The amount of subtlety that's being carried across just through slight tweaks of expression is really spellbinding. Another example of a scene that would not have been possible in the past, the attack on Dragon Mountain, where Drago brings all of his forces to the beach and we populate it with thousands of men and dragons and machinery. And onto that, we graft all of Valka's attacking feral dragons, and we were actually able to pull it off simply because of this new Apollo software. DreamWorks Apollo is really a watershed moment because it now all of a sudden points us in the direction where anything is possible. The world just got a whole lot bigger.